Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, here we go. In the last video, if you caught that one, I rebuilt Livy's pop star house for reasons, for secret reasons, <laughs> which are about to become so much less secret. But you know, even without the reasons, it's so cool to have this rebuilt in my collection again. But here was the hint that I gave you at the end of the video, which is Livy holding a rainbow, which is a rubbish hint because it's obviously it's time for a too much rainbow build. And Livy's house was perfect for this. But first up, so the colors we're gonna be working with are Ruigabiv, which are red, orange, Ruigabiv, R O Y, Y for yellow, G for green, uh, Ruigabiv, Biv, B for blue, and I for indigo and violet, which we're going to use for we're just purple for because otherwise we're gonna have too many colors to play with. So those are the colors we're gonna be using. But first up, it's no fun if we don't actually make the characters fit the theme and Livy and Andrea are gonna live here. So let's have Livy with yellow, a yellow skirt because she never had a yellow skirt in her pop star theme, but let's actually tie it in with her one of her shirts, one of her tops, and it's got a blue wave through it, which is perfect. And oh, now, but when we get to hair, her pink hair is so trademark Livy. I don't know that I want to mess around with this. However, she did have blue hair that came in the dressing room set. So maybe she could wear the blue hair and we would still know it's Livy, maybe. And that matches her shirt. I just don't know. I think we can actually just stay with the pink hair because even though it's not ah, in the colors of the rainbow, already cheating, you know, <laughs> this, isn't, this, this is gonna be not so easy, but I want this to be very recognizably Livy because this is her pop star house. So Livy's gonna keep her pink hair, but she's got a new pop star outfit. So that's exciting. I love the yellow skirt. Okay, and now if Andrea is living with her, we need to, her colors are wrong. So they don't work at all for the rainbow build. So we need to get the right uh, skin tone in the with, with right outfit colors and most of Andrea's clothes are actually teal and pink but I did find this little green jumpsuit which I thought was going to be absolutely perfect so she's gonna be green and we're gonna give her the new Andrea face so we're gonna upgrade her to the new Andrea and hair this is where we'll have a bit of fun maybe maybe we can we can pull in all of the crazy rainbow colored hair pieces and try them out and see how they go so green to go with her outfit is that too much green i love the thought of a little pixie cut though i love pixie cuts and there aren't enough short hairdos for girls so we might try some of the short ones out but i think that green on green is just a little bit too extreme so maybe we won't Oh my goodness, you know, Lego often uses this as lettuce or as a plant and that's probably the best thing for this hairpiece. It really does not look great as a hairpiece. I don't think so anyway. What about purple? Eh, I don't think that goes with the rest of her color scheme. The purple doesn't go. What about... We could, like this is indigo, but... And as much as I love this hairpiece, it, it's not a color that I'm actually going to be using in the build because we're going to be using purple as the bottom two colors. So orange, I think I used this one for the orange character in our too much orange build. So, but let's try out some of the other orange hair pieces. This one's cute, but I don't think it go, I, actually, no, I don't think that one goes at all. So let's try this one, which I love. Oh my goodness, I love this. That's so pretty. Have, but I, I did say I wanted to try for a pixie cut. What about Sweet Mayhem's hair? I, I love this hair, but every time I look at it, I, I, I can't, can't believe that this is made for a mini doll. There are so many gaps around the edges, <laughs> but I don't think it works. I just think it's a little bit, it's even a little bit too out there for me. The blue Livy, would that be funny? Would that be hilarious to have the two characters in this having the same hairstyle, but in different colors? <laughs> I think that is just a bit too wrong. Let's try, oh my goodness, that this is perfect. Oh, the pixie cut, I love this hair piece. We don't use this hair piece enough. This is perfect. I think she looks so cute. Let's get rid of the other Andrea. This is our new too much rainbow Andrea, who is gonna be residing here with Livy in their rainbow house. This is exciting, they look gorgeous. And we're just gonna ignore Livy's pink hair because it's just Livy's pink hair. But we do need to do something about Cookie because Cookie is, completely wrong. Cookie has got no color. So Cookie is being evicted for a much more rock star pet. <laughs> Cookie's been replaced by a tiger cub because the tiger cub is orange. So very rock. However, it might grow up to eat them later, but you know, that's the price you have to pay. So 
let's go. Let's see how we're going to start here. So, ah, if we're going to be doing all these colors, I kind of want to keep it ordered. So for the bottom level, I'm going to use purple, blue to green. And then for the top level, yellow, orange and red for the building itself and put the whole lot of them in rows in other places to kind of create rainbow patterns throughout the build. Does that make any sense? I don't know what it does, but I don't want it to look too much like a unicorn just vomited on it with the colors everywhere. So I want to kind of keep them ordered. So we're going to start with purple on the bottom. So as the bottom, we're going to build up. So yeah, all right. So purple on the bottom and I'm going to keep this as close, well, close-ish, follow the directions, the instructions, for Livy's pop star house, but change out the colors and also add in all the rainbow things, as many rainbow things as we can. Starting with these printed pieces from the dots. <laughs> these are awesome. So if I can put all of these on the front fencing here, we've got one, two, do I have enough? Got three, four, I think I do have enough. So let's put all of these along the front fencing. And there's our first indication that this is the too much rainbow build. Okay, and on the top, next color up is blue. So let's add the blue on the top. And it's just a little bit sparkly and diamondy because I love pop star. And for the stepping stones, which were originally gray, let's use, let's use some of the, rather than just putting purple and blue on here, let's use some of the colors we're gonna be using in the upstairs, just as a, an accent down here in the bottom. So green and <laughs> a bit of green, red, Yellow, I think that looks really cute though. The green looks a little bit like peas, but I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, these rails, I only have these in white and gray. So we're going to be using white to break up all the colors in this build and a little bit of black too, but that should be it. Maybe a bit of gold occasionally, but let's put some stained glass windows in the big window panels that are in the front. So from purple, different shades of blue going up, a little bit of an ombre effect and green. So on the next level, we're going to be using the other colors on the top. So let's put these down the bottom and for the sliding glass door, let's do the same thing. But on the bottom, I'm going to have to use some opaque purple to build up to the size of a brick. So three plates. So that way it will all hold together as one runner door. So we got purple, we got blue and then the lighter blue. And then we're going to head that into green. And then on the top of it in the instructions, we've got the little spot for the lights. So we're going to use green for the down lights too. <laughs> and white on the top just to, to title and hold it all together. So we'll put our see-through glass here because otherwise it's going to be like too much. Uh, and when we put our glass sliding door in, Let's just put these on first. So they're gonna have green down lights instead of the yellow ones, because even though yellow would have worked with the colors, we're gonna use the yellow more upstairs. Uh, and white there, and look at this! <laughs> and then we need to put the top runners on for the door. And we've got our first three colors of the rainbow taking up a beautiful amount of space out the front, right, inside. Okay, we'll line this with the next color of purple, next shade of purple up. And now I've got these cabinets in lots of different colors. So let's use as many of these rainbow colors for the cabinets as we can. So purple to blue. And then maybe if I put, uh, okay, so let's just fill these up first. Let's fit them out. So inside they had, yep, apple and a carrot, which once again, these go with our color schemes and a yellow popsicle. We can leave these the same as they are in the instructions, but let's put the bricks on the side to match the cabinet there. So purple and then blue. And then the next layer is going to be green. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then we're just going to put a nice big panel. Oh, we won't put a paneled window in. Let's do our stained glass windowy thing again, but let's match it to our to our cabinets. So purple, blue, and then green. <gasps> that worked out so well. Now we have to put in the windows. <laughs> okay, and white along the top. And I think that's looking really great. So what are we going to put up here? Let's put one of the orange new butterbeer pieces and some strawberry jam. It's perfect. I'm going to use as many new drink options as I can for this just because I can. <laughs> and for the sink area, we're going to use our orange cabinet and an orange sink and a gold tap, <clears throat> but that's what it was in the instructions. So let's pop our gold tap in here too. I think that's just a variation on orange anyway. I've slightly changed up the dishwashing detergent, but I've used a purple plate because I think it goes really nicely down here and some rainbow cake for on the plate. <laughs> Okay, this is looking absolutely as colorful as can be, but not too colorful, which is 
which is my plan. I don't want it to just look like a big smash of colors. Okay, over here is where the fireplace is. So let's let's build that up with the purple. We use the same black pieces, but let's use a blue flame. This new blue flame that came in the in the hidden side set that I built for Halloween. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so blue flame on the red and then white up to the top and then we can put our TV out exactly the same. Perfect. Okay, this is looking great. Now, over here we have the lamp, which is just the same as original, but I've changed the gold stud on the top out for a black one. Nothing really changed there. Okay, in the corner, for the corner seat, we're going to go up in purple, and I don't have this... I don't think I have this configuration correct. Let's try and figure this out. The amount of times I've built this corner seat and I still cannot figure out how it all works. So purple, and then I'm going to use some orange here to break it all up and to tie in with the seats, which are also orangey yellow. Look at that, that's so gorgeous. Those colors actually go really nicely together. Okay, that looks so cute. Okay, in front of that, there's the magazine holder. So let's put that in with a new magazine on green. <gasps> that blue haircut, that blue haircut's like what Andrea's got. Can't be Andrea because skin color's wrong, but maybe there are other people copying her because she looks so cool. That's really awesome. I didn't actually notice that when I chose that. And we've got to put a llama pinata in here because it's rainbow and there was a space for it. So, <laughs> okay, working in the middle, we need to put in the little jumper stud spots for the island bench, but then we've got the stools, which are going to go from blue to purple, purple to blue, all of the right colors for downstairs and the island bench. What other cabinet color did I have left? Red? Okay, so red island bench. It's a shame I don't have any red drawers, but it looks fine with white because we're using white to break this up a bit. Purple on the top, blue here, purple frying pan, and we need a purple plate. And I want to put a cup here because it's orange. This is the new cup that came with Harry Potter stuff. And it's got something green in it. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> who knows? Let's put this purple, purple mixing bowl in there because that's supposed to be in there. And on the plate, we're going to have some fruit because they're all the right colors. We got yellow, we got red and green for the, for the watermelon slice and some cherries to be frying away in there. And a green book, which I've just added for the couch because everybody should read more. Okay. This looks fantastic. Let's put Andrea in here. She can read and <laughs> that green book will kind of be camouflaged with her green jumpsuit too. Oh, that looks so cute and not too frighteningly colorful yet. Okay, we I've changed the front a little bit because I need to put the plants in, but I didn't have the right connectory kind of thing. It was in gray originally. That So I've used the black paint roller and it works just as well to hold our green plants up, which go really well with our color scheme down here. Okay, the downstairs room is done. Let's start on the swimming pool area. And because I don't have another big purple base plate, I had to make one up and I'm gonna hold them together with lighter purple plates, <laughs> squish them all down. But this is fine, because this is the actual swimming pool section. So these different shades of purple all go really nicely over here, because that's the bottom color of our rainbow. And we're going to use white for the garden bed. And this actually connects on like that, but let's disconnect that for now so we can put our pool together and I'm using different translucent bricks to actually match the colors that we have as we're going up. So purple down the bottom, blue on the next level and the blue which was originally the sides for the swimming pool works so perfectly for this because we're going from purple up to blue. And more blue along the top, lining the top of our swimming pool and over here is a perfect opportunity to make a rainbow, our first rainbow configuration here as the little decking area beside the pool. <laughs> That's so perfect. Um, okay, more stepping stones. And I haven't actually put the rainbow colors here in order, but I've just popped them kind of around. They're, they're all here. And there are our green pea stepping stones <laughs> going around them as well. <laughs> that looks so cute. And for the flowers, we're gonna go red, orange, yellow, green, I have a few shades of green and then blue and then purple and then a couple of darker purples on the end. And, yep, I like that new shade of yellow. And we're going to put these little floating pieces to put some butterflies in the right colors in our rainbow garden bed. <laughs> Doesn't that just look perfect? That's so perfect, except, you know what? I wanna add one more yellow piece just over here on the purple, just so that it's not 
perfectly perfect. And this was originally purple, but I've added the orange to it so that we don't have all this purple down here. And I like to make it float with a little floating see-through column. That way, when you put your people in there, look at that, they, they actually sit a bit better. There we go. All right, so Livy is trying this out. Over here on this side, I want to make a new drink. So we're going to use these pin holders with an inverted cone and use these floating pieces. Gosh, what are they actually called? But they're the ones that you use to make the minifigures float. I just use them to make the, the butterflies float, but they also make a perfect straw for a smoothie. And I want a new umbrella too. So I think that one goes so, so nicely. Okay, this is very, very exciting. This is now connected. We're up to the part of the build where we need to make the steps. So we're going to make the steps going up in the rainbow colours. So purple down the bottom and I'm going to build our light up just a bit because I want to smooth over the top of these steps, which they didn't do with the instructions, but I want to do that. So purple and then blue with some translucent blue pieces too. Another little light and then the next level up is green. And we're just doing, as you can, you can see what's happening here, we're doing the same formation, but we're using the rainbow colours as we go up. And here on the inside is actually where her, <laughs> where her record was, and I want to use a different one. This one that came in the boxes, in the cubes, because I like this new record, it's a little bit more colourful. And we're up to orange, is that right? Yeah, so yellow and orange are going to be combined together because we've only got one more step to go, and that last step is going to be... going to be red. Perfect. Look at that! We've got rainbow steps going up to the second level with the white broken up with the rainbow translucent pieces. Now on here it was originally tan pieces but we're going to make yellow because we're starting to move into these top colours of the rainbow for the next level. And don't forget, yeah, don't forget the actual deck chair which I've just kind of, I've changed out, changed out the, uh, changed out some of the yellow for the purple and Cookies! <laughs> Cookies been eaten by the tiger cub. That's the little bed here for the little tiger. Perfect. And you can have a bone just like Cookie Hat, except in a purple plate. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is actually going really well. It's almost like I planned it this way. Next level. I'm not going to use a yellow base plate because I'm going to be using lots and lots of different shades of yellow and orange on it. So we're using a white base plate to do exactly what the instructions say, but in different colours. So lots and lots of yellow here with some variation with the orange. And for the shower bottom, we're using red girls because <laughs> these are the colours we're going to be predominantly using up here. A red, orange and yellow until they get too much. We're going to break them up with little bits of the colours that are downstairs. Okay, speaking of now, we're putting some more rainbow over here on the side. Look at that, a perfect stained glass rainbow column going up with all of the colours of the rainbow. And on the front, we need to be using the colours we didn't use downstairs. So on our windows at the front, we're going to use green going up to orange going up to red. Yeah, so let's do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll use red down lights on the top. <laughs> and on the top of this, I think there's a perfect spot to put our rainbow tiles. So if we put yellow up here, and then if we use our rainbow curve tiles, this is going to look so good over the window. They're like too much rainbow. It's just big. There's so much here. I'm just surprised unicorns haven't started coming out of everywhere. And I changed the front a little bit just to put a bit of articulation onto these columns because I just thought they looked a bit boring. So <laughs> I just changed it. It looks good. I did different hooks on the inside because I wanted to put two different guitar-y type things in red on the inside in her bedroom rather than just the one purple one. And the cape over here is green in the cupboard and she's going to have a green camera and some red roller skates just to mix it up a bit to keep those colours that our upstairs colours upstairs. Okay, it's bedtime. Her bed was originally uh, pink and purple so let's mix it up with a blue cushion like a blue pillow but we'll keep it pink and purple in stripes going down the bedspread and it all ties in nicely with a sticker that I've put on her pillow and blue along the side. That way we're using quite a few of the colours, but the pink's going to match Levy's hair so nicely. Right, what's next? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, oh, it's her dressing table. So her dressing table chair's purple. She's got a new seat cushion on it with a purple heart. Goes so nicely. And we're building this up here with yellow. So yellow going up into... Uh, yep, into darker shades of yellow into orange. We can keep the perfume on there the same colour, but her lipstick has now gone to red. Her, yep, there's her dressing table with a sticker. I think that's a picture of her and Andrea on it. 
I never noticed that before. Oh my gosh. Changing the top here a little bit because I want to put some of her little awards up here that she's won <laughs> in different colors. And on here, I want to put a little photo frame. I think that's just so perfect. Oh, and it's going up into red. Okay, up here, we've got, I'm changing this out for a red. This was a, a silver saucepan, but now we've got our red shower top and <laughs> the sink, we're going to make them white because we're going to have purple, blue, red, yeah, a red tap and a yellow rubber ducky. So many colors going on here. And for the toilet, going to make it predominantly white as well, except we've got a really good seat cover here, which has got lots of nice colors on it. And for the button press, we have our sparkly unicorn poo, which I had to use. Don't hate me. It had to be put in here. It is the too much rainbow build. Okay, let's figure out how the balcony is going to go. These transparent pieces are fine. The door is going to get a new door handle because we've got the perfect one for it. A rainbow love heart. That is so perfect. And I've got a perfect doormat too for the balcony. That's so cute. Okay, transparent pieces. Uh, I'm having a bit of trouble because I don't actually have the square, like the single brick transparent pieces, but I'm just using little column ones and I don't think you'll notice too much. It, it looks fine. That's, that's just for the single ones. Okay, so we've got a red plant pot instead of the magenta one. And uh, yeah, I oh, do you remember me saying in the hidden side, if you watched it in the hidden side video, that I was going to use that red ball joint for something? Came at just the right time. And here over the door, I want to put another rainbow because we've got more rainbow pieces. And I want to put some more little ornamentation on the inside. I want to put little you and me or me and you. I don't mind which way it goes. Aren't they just gorgeous? So that's going to be going over the door for Andrea and Libby. <laughs> And you can't see it, so I'm gonna have to angle it kind of. You can, you know, it's there, it's in there for me and you. <laughs> That's so beautiful! Oh my gosh, we've got double rainbows on the front. <laughs> and let's finish making our balcony. And what color was I gonna? Well, actually, I need some more column pieces, those little cylinder pieces here. Yeah, I told you I was out of those square bricks, but I want to make the balcony green because it's too much yellow happening now. So we're just gonna break that up with a bit of green. That looks so colorful. And now we can put more green in here with her plant, which is perfect. And we're going to line the top with a darker shade of yellowy orange, heading up into the red for the top. Oh my gosh, I really think this is turning out looking so cool. It's outrageous, but it's perfect. Okay, so if we put this up here, now we have got the variation of color from the bottom to the top in the stained glass windows, from purple all the way up to red. So that's worked out really well. We got the white breaking it up, and now we've just got to do the top roofing panel. And if I had red base plates and a red curved base plate, which I don't have, this, this like curved corner piece, I don't have one. In fact, I'm not sure it even exists in red, but I would have totally made it out of red because I think this whole thing up here being red would have been so good. But this is the best I can do and I think it still looks good. So here's our red, putting a plant in the corner, but I'm going to build it up just a little bit higher so it peaks up just a bit higher. And we're going to bring in a touch of purple from the bottom with a flamingo because it's perfectly pop star. Totally rock and my plant's falling off. <laughs> there we go. There's a flamingo on the top floor. There's a tiger down the bottom and on our ball joint. Instead of the surveillance camera, I wanted another rainbow. So I've made a flag out of some tape that I had and to attach it here, I this is I have to use a gray piece. This piece only comes in gray. That's it. It's just it. So we're going to do that. But we're going to hide it with a cloud a bit. So we're hiding the gray piece. We're putting a red hook on there and we've got our orange with the flag on it on the ball joint hanging over the pool off the side. So we managed to add yet another rainbow to our rainbow build. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my gosh, but I love it. it hold on, we've, we've knocked our pinata over. You can't do that. All the lollies will fall out. And Andrea's falling over too. Oh my goodness, golly gracious me. I am so happy with how this has turned out. So we have gone from this a uh, fabulously sombre pop star house, <laughs> I don't think this sombre, to a rainbow pop star house where Livia and Andrea are going to live together. And if it gets 
too bright for them, they can always just put on their sunglasses, or they can go and live in the original pop star house for a while, and when they feel rainbowy, they can come back and hang out in their rainbow option. <laughs> it's always nice to have options, especially when it is rainbow. Rainbow makes everything better. All right, thank you to everybody who suggested over the months that I needed to do a too much rainbow build. I have finally done it, and I'm really, really pleased. So thank you for your comments. Make sure you leave me some more. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, check back and there'll be more videos very very soon so i will see you then i'm off to live in a happy rainbow <laughs> see ya